Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make advanced twister. Um, the twister that looks smooth, very smooth, and like very fluent, like that kind of stuff. So today I'm gonna show you that. And make sure to subscribe and like the video if you want more. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, first thing first, um, like all we do was starting a project. Um, we're gonna make a brand new composition and put all the necessary objects that you want to put in your AMV. And after you pick the right scene that you want to use, open up the time remap tab and choose all the important moves of the character and put a keyframe on it. Just like I did in the clip. And after you do that, you want to make all the keyframes closer together so all the frames are only the movements of the character all right so next thing you want to do is put the twister in which is pre-compose your clip first and then put the twister you can follow the settings that i use i recommend following it though because I figured that it is the only settings that worked on this method. So the next part is choosing your first keyframe and the last keyframe. Uh, the first keyframe you didn't have to choose it because it already is chosen by itself. But the second keyframe you have to choose it. Just like I did in the clip. Just drag your time remap until you find your clip. Alright, so we're getting to the fun part. This is where you modify the curves that gonna make your scene look more dramatic or whatever you want. So this is the three types of curve that you want to know. The first one is the fast and then slow one. This is the most common curve that we use on the fills edit or mixer edit. Moving on to the second curve, this is the slow and then fast. This curve is rare amongst editors, um, only if you really need it, then you will use it. Alright, so this one, I really like this one. This is the third type of the curve. So it kinda goes fast and then slow, but it goes fast again. So this is really good for when you're making flow edit or this original poster edit but I really like this one alright so I think that's all that I can say about advanced twixter if you have any problems you can write it in the comments I will help you out thank you so much for all the support that you guys give me I really appreciate that if you guys want to see more content like this consider subscribe and like the video thank you so much and thanks for watching goodbye